Good day, everyone. I'm Teacher Teresa Ann C. Agustin, Teacher 3 from Nueva Ecija Senior High School. The topic for today is about conceptualizing contemporary art based on techniques and local performance practices. The learners are expected to conceptualize contemporary art based on techniques and performance practice in their locality. Number two, apply artistic skills and techniques in process of creation. Number three, uh, incorporate contemporary characteristics to one's creation with attention to detail. And number four, Create the intended final product using appropriate materials for the best possible output. So let us let us test your knowledge on what you know. So I have a five multiple choice. You just have to choose the letter that corresponds to your answer and write it on a sheet of paper or any paper around you or on your notebook. Number one, your teacher. Okay, so you can pause this video if you need more time to assess your answer or to think about what your answer will be. So number one, your teacher asks you to create an artwork using cutouts from magazine, newspapers, and brochures. What particular contemporary art does your teacher wants you to create? A, installation, B, assemblage, C, collage, D, mobile. Next, which of the following does not describe or explain what contemporary art is? A, new, B, current, C, traditional, D, timely. Next, what particular artwork can you do if you have a lot of scrap, collage, woods, and other found object? A, assemblage, B, collage, C, mobile, D, installation. Number four. Which of the following refers to the form of contemporary art that involves the arrangement of objects in a given space? A, assemblage, B, collage, C, mobile, D, installation. Number five, CN wants to create a mobile art which among of the following materials should he use? A, printed images. B, balancing rod. C, scraps. D, woods. Okay. Okay, so thank you for your answers. Let's move on. If you still remember our last topic, about local materials. In here, this is uh, the next uh, activity. So you will distinguish or uh, look at the picture and then what identify what, uh, what is it in the picture and then what other materials or crafts can be done with that picture or that uh, <clears throat> the that images. Okay, for this one we have the kogon. So kogon can be crafted to basket, placemat, and bags. Okay, so next, okay, ganyan lang po yung gagawin nyo, sasagutan nyo kung ano yung nasa picture. Just tell kung ano yon. Okay, and then what other materials or uh, what other, what can it be done? Kung ano yung mga craft na pwedeng gawin mula sa 
mula sa mga materials na ito. Okay? So, gaya rin kanina, you can pause this video and uh, do your thing and then play it again once you are done with your answer. Okay, number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And lastly, number five. All right. Okay, let's move on to the next one. What inspires me? Here are the directions. Create a collage using images of local materials and performance practices in your town or community. Answer the question below. Once you are done with your collage, do this activity on a sheet of bond paper. Materials needed are old photos from newspapers, magazine or brochure, glue, and scissors. Answer or questions to answer is number one. Is there a relevance between the local materials and the performance practices in your town? Explain your answer. Number two, can we say that local materials and performance practices affects our community in terms of art production? Why? Okay, let's proceed. So what is it? Philippines, as we all know, is such a very diverse country. In an article released by the national government portal from 7,107 Philippines now has a 7,641 islands. There is no wonder that our country is a paradise of great artists of a thousand local materials and hundreds of great artists. Unique artworks are everywhere. Festivals are highly celebrated. Truly that our community is so blessed in terms of art and so is our province. So Nueva Ecija was known as an agricultural province responsible for producing 183,854 metric tons of palai in their third quarter of 2019. Based on the Philippine Statistic Authority by January 8, 2020. Too many, our province is just another rice field, but what we don't know is that it is also a home for visual and performance arts. Local materials to contemporary art. Contemporary artists use bus bottles, plastic straw, <coughs> sorry, old CDs, broken glass, hay, and other recyclable materials in doing their artwork or in doing an artwork. True artists find an inspiration to do art even in the funny, peculiar, and impossible way. Artists in our province create an artwork from local materials such as coconut leaves and shells, kogon, tambo, and the like. They create an artwork based on the concept for them to produce masterpiece with deeper meaning. Here are the sample of the performance practices in Nueva Ecija. 
we have the Pandawan Festival. It is celebrated in Pantabangan, Nueva Ecija. Pandawan means assurance of abundance, fresh water catch each time the festival is celebrated. This festival is celebrated every last week of April. Chinelas Festival. This festival originated in Gapan City, Nueva Ecija. The festival is annually celebrated every August of 6th to the 25th. This festival is also com commemorates the cityhood of the city. Beautiful sleepers or chinelas are, exhibit are exhibited during the celebration. Next, we have the Kapagayan Festival. It was first celebrated in the year of 2009 to promote the Palay, which is considered as the main craft of Llanera Nueva Ecija, where it is celebrated. The festival is celebrated from May 7th to 11th of every year. Next, we have the Cariton Festival. It is one of the most anticipated festival in Nueva Ecija. This colorful festival is celebrated in Licab, Nueva Ecija. Colorful dress, cariton, pulled by the carabaos, are parade, paraded all in town. This celebration takes place every 28th of March every year. <clears throat> Next, we have the Sibuyas Festival in celebration of the abundance harvest of onion every year the municipality of bungabon holds annual celebration on sibuyas festival in the month of may we have the pagibang damara festival pagibang damara Shed to be ready demolish is an exciting festival celebrated at San Jose City, Nueva Ecija. It is annually celebrated every April 19 up to the 22, 22nd. Adamara is a Tagalog word for shelter made of bamboo and nipa that was built on rice field as a protection for farmers. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, we have the Tambo Festival. Every January, the municipality of San Antonio, Nueva Ecija, commemorates their town, fiesta to give honor to their patron saint, Saint Anthony Abbott for the good harvest of tambo, which is abundant in the area. The tambo festival is the highlight of celebration, wherein dancers wearing costumes with tambo designs and perform. <clears throat> Contemporary art form. So contemporary arts are for form of arts that are considered a product of new technological advancement and cannot be categorized using the outdated definition. So here are the examples. Number one is collage. Collage is the method of combining printed images with another flat media and posted on canvas or board. A form of contemporary arts came about in the early 90s, 19s, 90s, 90s. Two, assemblage. Assemblage is a term used by the French artist 
Jean de Buffet in 1952 to describe a series of artwork made from paper, collages, collages, wood, scrap, and other found objects. Next, the third is mobile. Mobile is a sculptural work that is suspended from the ceiling or protruding base. It is typically made with a number of balancing rods dangling in different lengths, carrying one or more elements. Number four, installation art. Installation art is a form of contemporary art that involves the arrangement of objects in a given space. Okay, what's more? So in the activity, okay, the title and the cover. Here are the directions. Think of a word or words that best describe, describes the local art or materials and the performance for practice in your community. This word should be catchy and meaningful for it will be the title of the brochure that you will be using in activity. Activity number two, conceptualize your own brochure cover. Follow the steps below to accomplish this activity. Number one, think of an image that can represent the local art materials and performance practice in your town. In an, in an Oslo paper, design your cover using images of local art materials and performance in your local. It will be background of the brochure title. Three, print or artistically write your title in the cover. Activity two, the content. Direction, accomplish the content of your brochure by doing the following. Number one, be sure that you have a closer concept in mind. Your concept should be focusing on promoting local art or products that can be found in your town. It can also show performance practices originated or celebrated in your area. Number two, look for photos of artwork, local materials, or performance practice within the community, within your community. Number three, on the first page, paste all the pictures of local artwork such as handicrafts, write a caption about it below the picture. Fourth, on the second page, paste all the draw, paste or draw all local materials presented in your area. Don't forget to describe them using or by including their name origin and the techniques being used to make an artwork. Lastly, number five, paste a picture of local performance practice in your town. Don't forget to write the important details like the place and the exact date it is celebrated. The reason behind the celebration, religious or not, the particular products this festival promotes. Six, bind the pages all together within the cover page. Then there you go. You have your own brochure. Note that your final products will be graded using the criteria below. Activity number three my own assemblage sketch. Direction, make your own assemblage concept. Sketch it in the short bond paper 
Remember to include the local materials, artwork, and performance practice that are local in your town or on your activity. You can use bottle, plastic straw, old CD, broken glass, hay, coconut leaves, shell, kogon, tambo, and other recyclable materials in doing your artwork. Again, your output will be graded based on the given criteria. What I have learned, answer the following questions, max or minimize your answer to questions. <laughs> minimize your answer to each question to two to three sentences. Number one, how does conceptualizing an artwork using local materials, the performance practices that gives unique identity to masterpiece and to the artist? Number two, do you believe that the local products can create a world-class artwork and why? Number three, as an inspiring artist, in what way does the module about conceptualizing an artwork hone your talents and skills in creating an artwork. Okay, in what I can do from concept to reality, here are the direction. Create an artwork using your assemblage concept. Apply your artistic skills and techniques in creating the final product from your own sketch. From activity three, remember to use the local materials which are abundant within your community. Use the local artworks and performance practices in your town as an inspiration of your masterpiece. Okay? So always do your output based on the given criteria or rubrics. Okay? So. Okay, for the last part, analogy, complete the following ideas below, fill in the blanks with the correct words, write your answer on another sheet of paper, okay? Sample, Likab Kariton Festival, Gapan Chinelas Festival. Number one, blank, Pantabangan, Sibuyas, Bungabon. Number two, San Antonio Tambo Festival, Likab, blank. Three, Llanera, blank. Gapan, chinelas. Number four, Pagibang, Damara, uh, blank. Kariton, March. Number five, blank. Demolish, Damara, Nipahan. Okay, with that, I will end my presentation in your activity. Okay. Uh, I'll be posting this one in your Gmail account, or I, I'm sorry, in the our Google Classroom and Facebook uh, Facebook page. Okay. With that, thank you and have a nice day, everyone. Please uh, always wash your hands, keep safe, wear your mask, wear your face shield. Okay, keep safe everyone. Bye.